If you've been looking at the weather at all over the past couple of days, you've probably seen all the videos, tweets, and all other sorts of media about the great storm that's coming. Well, as you guys might have figured out, this is not going to be the case, and they're just overhyping everything as they always do. But the real question here is what is it going to do, and what can we say this far out from the event? Now, this event is not actually happening until next Tuesday or Wednesday, so it's very, very far out. All we're looking for at this point is where we think things are going to happen, not like specific towns, just a general area. Looking at the last few model runs, and I said a few, the reason I said a few is because we need to look at a lot of different model runs to figure out is somewhere around the central United States into the southeastern United States. Wow, thanks Riley, that's a big area. What a great forecast. You're welcome, I know that's a great forecast. You can thank me later. On a more serious note, why is this forecast so vague? Over the next couple of days, we're gonna start to see bottles agree with each other more and more, and then I can give you a more specific area. But for now, remember, anything that you are seeing is not accurate. If people are telling you that you are going to be on a doomsday scenario where you're all gonna die because we're gonna have another Palm Sunday, they're not right. Those people are idiots. In fact, they're so stupid and I dislike them so much that I climbed this 50 foot tower to get away from them in order to record this video. On a more serious note, let's talk about what some of the possible impacts of the system could be. It does look like we might be shaping up to see a really significant system. This means damaging tornadoes, large hail, severe storms, all of this can be expected. Speaking of expected, you know what you can expect on this channel? Nothing, I mean, look at where I am now. Is this where you'd normally see a forecast video come from? No, it's not. So you should probably subscribe to see where the hell I end up next. Aside from that, let's talk about some of the other potential impacts of the system. Taking a look at the Weather Prediction Center, it does look like we're going to have more damaging rains in California. Now, the reason I'm saying damaging is because there's been so much rain in California that it's causing mountains to literally fall apart. There's been many, many mudslides and landslides in California. And unfortunately, this is not over yet. On the 29th of February into March, we are looking at another atmospheric river-esque event. So there's going to be a ton of rain falling in and around the San Francisco Bay Area. All this rain is going to worsen the flooding problems we already have there. And in case you don't know how bad the flooding problems are in California, you might think they don't get a lot of rain. Well, guess what? In the last two months, just January and February, there's been multiple areas in California to already receive one year's worth of rainfall, and it's only been two months. Other than that, there's really not much we can talk about in terms of this system. Well, great, you really didn't tell me any specifics. That's the point. The whole point of this video is if you see specifics from anywhere at this far out, do not focus on them. They are wrong. Well, that's all I have. Please go like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.